just talk about your experiences for you know playing for Nigeria and how that makes you feel you know you, you're celebrated by your people and um, you know it's actually your background your you know your ethnicity so yeah. um, well first of all when you just when I just land in Nigeria at the airport it, before even land when you're catching the flight from me or I had to catch from Heathrow and the Nigerians there when they see me before I even get on their plane, oh Alice, how far how are you? It's mad, like the way I'm loved, it's, it's, I can't even describe it. Even before I become who I am now, when I went to the under 23 shows and I was just playing, uh, what was it, 21s at the time, it wasn't 23s, it was 21s, but it was the Olympic team. Mm. The love I was getting, because I was just at like, Arsenal. Let's talk about Nigeria, man. Um, obviously, you know, Alex is, you know, playing for the national team now. Uh, Tommy, you're also from Nigeria as well. Just speak to how you feel about Nigeria and when was the first time you can remember going to Nigeria? Um, I saw Nigeria quite a bit when I was younger. I even went to, not a lot of people know this to be fair, I went to school in Nigeria for a couple of months, didn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I went um, I went back to Were the you're bad bad No, it wasn't <laughs> anything I don't think it was anything like that. Like I just I faintly remember like when I was younger, like I went to school in Nigeria when I I, I was living with my grandpa for a bit. So How um, was it? It was good. From what I remember it was good. Oh, yeah. I can't I don't know, but I was young, I was very young. No no. You wanna tell the people <laughs> <laughs> You know, no, it, like, it was like a, it was like, it was very strict, like, mm. as in like, everything was very strict, but it was good, like, from what I remember, like, it was, it was good, like, uh, like, you, like it was, yeah. the, the learning, the way they done things, it was very strict, and that's why, I don't know, like, it's, it's a very easy stereotype to make, but Nigerians are very set in their ways, and they're very strict yeah. at how they do things, you know what I mean, and back from home, like, that kind of like, Cemented it for me, like I understood that. Yeah, yeah. But Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria is like I wish I could actually go Nigeria more Often, than I've been yeah. going. Yeah, the last time I went was I actually missed a holiday. My friend Diesel went to Marbella, and mm. I was away with the twenty threes, so I couldn't go. But mm. going there and just training with the twenty threes, and it was training for the Olympics, and it was just a it was a good experience, and like I pushed myself. I, and the training was crazy because like you do you know what do you know what I always used to say, like when you compare like St George's Park, for example, like the facilities were mm. like are unbelievable at um English training ground. They've got everything anything that you need or you could possibly want to improve yourself, they've got it. Mm. But then you go to Nigeria now and where we were training was crazy. Like it was just mad. However, the spirit and the vibes were so just unreal that I would not even change it for anything like yeah. before training everyone come together and sing dance pray and then everyone will train everyone will train hard the conditions are like rock hard pitches bobbly pitches mm. but the quality is still so high and everyone's spurring each other up the band are like Nigerians are just, like, I just think Nigerians are just funny people isn't it? <laughs> yeah. like, they're just funny <laughs> people and being with some of the Nigerian play the 23s players that were doing um, playing in different countries and just the way some of them that were even playing in Nigeria, just the way they were, mm. you can't sit with them for more than if you sit with them for an hour, Your you, have, belly. you have a six pack. Like yeah. you, know, like, <laughs> yeah, you just you just start laughing. Like yeah. just some things they say, little sayings, little yeah, yeah. little things they do were just it's just it's just too funny. <laughs> like I, I so many stories like in Nigeria that just that I just think about just yeah. that just kill me, man. But yeah, Nigeria's a I'm sure you you even have bear in it. Bro, like. I have stories for days, man. Yeah, I have stories for days. So yeah. who, who was your favorite? Who was your favorite uh, player growing up in Nigeria? Would you say? Um, or playing for the Nigeria national team or in the Premier League? Probably Kanu, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just just the way he was just, just like he, he just. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like, he was just very, like, tired, but he was, like, he's still going and he was still doing, like, crazy things. And like, everyone's just thinking, he scored some crazy goals, his link up plays, he had long legs and he was just gangly, but he was yeah. just, he, he was unreal. Like, I used to watch Carney back in the day yeah. when he was playing for Arsenal and he's someone that, 
inspired me kind of to you know yeah okay okay we all know alex yeah your uncle you, you're probably <laughs> sick and tired of hearing it but apart from your uncle was there anyone else you had nigerian met? yeah yeah um bro why do so um bro at least turn it off man ah you know hear the briefing that's a fine, you know. Yeah, that's a fine. That's still. a fine. Here at Footy Two Five Eight, we're proud to present you with the best football-specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel. And also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting 4258. Another Nigerian beside my uncle, it will probably be in a weird way, probably Peter the Wing, you know. Mm. You know what, that's I actually like, rate him as a player, mm. and he was, he was like an attacking player, exciting player. So yeah, like grit in it. Yeah, yeah. and like, I saw him not too long ago when I was in Nigeria, and he, like, it was a nice chat. Like he's he's easy going, nice to chat to. You just to keep on doing my thing. So yeah, yeah. funnily enough, he was at he was at Stoke the same time mm. as me, yeah. and he obviously recognised my surname was Adeloye. So he said, "Oh, what part, what part of Nigeria are you from?" I told him. And then he used to kind of just look out for me because you know, no, I was a Nigerian, like only, nice guy. only yeah, one of the. Few, I was only two Nigerians in my age group. Used to just have good conversations with him. He was a, he's a he's a good guy, a very good guy. Yeah. So uh, Alex, just talk about your experiences for, you know, playing for Nigeria and how that makes you feel. You know, you're celebrated by your people, and um, you know, it's actually your background, your you know, your ethnicity. So. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, when you just when I just land in Nigeria at the airport, it before, before even land, when you're catching the flight from me, or I had to catch from Heathrow, and the Nigerians there when they see me before I even get on the plane, oh Alice, how far how are you? It's mad, like the way I'm loved, it's, it's I can't even describe it. Even before I become who I am now, when I went to the under twenty three shows and I was just playing, uh, it? 21s at the time, we were 23s, 21s, but yeah. it was the Olympic team. Mm. The love I was getting because I was just at Arsenal and I was obviously a coach's nephew mm. was crazy. Like, you almost get treated like I get treated like I'm a prince and I don't feel like I've done anything to deserve it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the love that they have for me is mad. The the way, obviously, Nigeria's a bit different in the sense where England's a lot more organised, but mm. the spirit that Nigerians have, like, they'll do everything to make sure that I'm okay, make sure my family's okay. Sometimes it's a bit over the top because where it's a bit more, I want to say poverty, but it's a bit different how England is. Yeah. They want me to come and help them, to bless them as much as I can. Mm. And to be fair, that's where I go. I always usually go with my dad because yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's easy to... Person, yeah. Yeah. He's easy to access and I prefer them to, them to chat to him because mm. as much as I'm Nigerian he knows Nigeria's lived there so mm -hmm. he knows how it works so mm. in the sense of when he wants to bless them when he wants to give them he gives some people money if he mm. gives them t-shirts because that's what they really care they just want a yeah, t-shirt yeah. with my name on the token, token. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah no nah, but it's nice Nigeria's proper nice like for more content like this like share and subscribe mm.